Ready for the staff meeting? Whatever. Come on in. <clears throat> um, Ann said that uh, she's not going to be here. We should just do it without her. She's the one who wanted these weekly meetings. Where is she anyway? I think she's with her new boyfriend. Boyfriend? My employees are not allowed to have boyfriends or girlfriends, are they? Well, you can't stop them from having private lives. Says who? Let me get in touch with my lawyer. Bill Deal, attorney at law. Brady, you old goat. Did you get those journey tickets you were to get for me? An employee law question? Just a sec. Shoot. Am I on the clock? Brady, come on, your family. Yeah, it's ticking. Can I have a policy that says my employees can't have dates? Prunes work better than dates. And a lot cheaper, too. <laughs> no, I mean, like someone having a boyfriend. I don't want my employees having something to take their minds off of their work. I'm good. I'm real good. But I'm not that good. I can't write a policy. That prevents your employees from having private lives. Anything else? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I just figured as long as you're paying for it. I, I know I'm paying for it. That's why. How's that kid of yours, Donnie? Dennis. Yes, Father. No, you be quiet. I can be quiet, but you're not paying me to be quiet. In any way, that's pretty pricey quiet time. Oh, not you. Oh, I don't have to be quiet? Good. I didn't think you wanted me to be quiet. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. Yes. So it's okay for Ann to have a boyfriend? No, it's not okay, but I can't stop it. Well, why would you want to stop it? Just look at the time we've wasted just talking about it. Just not to mention Bill's bill. Who's Bill? Bill. Not who. It's what. What about Bill? The bill he'll send me, idiot. He's sending someone named Bill? <sighs> That's why we need Ann in these meetings. When will she be back? Why would Ann talk about Bill? She's not even here. Dennis. Focus. Now, what's on your agenda? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, here, here it is, here it is. Uh, we're hiring a tutor and an acting coach for the kids. What? Yeah, Ann says we have to because the kids aren't getting enough time in school during the shooting schedule. Why don't we just send everybody to college on my dime? Oh, can I major in beekeeping? It's always been a fascination with the and then the honey. And <laughs> yes, I love bees. <laughs> Boy, how about a good butt whooping? I'm not paying for a tutor and an acting coach. Yeah, but, but Ann says the kids need to get an education. And, and anyway, she's already hired somebody named um, uh, Jade Stone. Jade Stone? You mean the Jade Stone? Uh, no. No, it's just Jade Stone. No, no the. Boy, Jade Stone is the most famous soap opera star of our time. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I can see her right now. Tearing out Rebecca Jameson's hair on The Bold and the Restless. Rebecca who? Rebecca Jameson. And the time, too. I remember that she, she superglued herself to an airborne jet that was on, on all of my siblings. Oh, those were the days of, of, of quality television. Yeah, well, um, it, says, uh, it says here that she... Um... Oh, I know she retired from being in the soap operas, but uh, I can't believe she's right here in Mecklenburg County. Yeah, what is it? Mr. Lewis, you have a visitor. Uh, Miss J. Stone is here to see you. She's here? Yes, sir. She's on her way back to your office. She's here? She's here! Dennis, what a great day this is for us. She's right here. Oh, okay, uh, so Jade's go. We gotta decide on strikes for the parking lot, okay? And uh, we're gonna add a new makeup person. Okay, well, um, I guess the meeting's over. <laughs> <sighs> How's my breath, boy? I'd lay off the tuna for breakfast. Yeah, I think you need a little freshening up yourself. Oh! Oh, my Hello! Hello! Why, it's Jade Stone. <laughs> it certainly is Jade Stone. I'm so happy to, to meet you. I, I'm, I'm a Brady Lewis, the station, station owner, and, and I'm also one of your biggest fans. Well, thank you so much, and it's a pleasure to meet you too, Mr. Lewis. Oh, oh call me Brady. Okay, well, you've got to call me Jade. Uh, done, done. Okay. Oh, um, this would be... 
Uh, my son, Dennis. Oh, how sweet. Oh. Does he have special needs? You have no idea. Oh, bless no. you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Dennis, Dennis, oh. get her something to drink. Uh, you would like something to oh, drink? No, no, no. I had scheduled um, some time with Anne over the phone, and then I've come to realize that she's not here. Is that correct? So. You see? That just shows you the trouble that boyfriend business has already caused us. Uh, 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 Jade, Miss Stone, I, I'm, I'm sorry for this inconvenience, uh, but uh, I have, have a meeting with, uh, with another client. Sure. Uh, no, no, Father, uh, 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 Mr. Lewis, I can meet with her. Anne left me the notes. <laughs> I see. All right. Okay. Well, we'll let, we'll let Dennis set in for Anne this time. Let me tell you how pleased I am having you joining our team. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I'm so looking forward to being with you all. Uh, we, we have to have lunch, though. We have to have lunch. That would sometime. be grand. All I right. would love that. That'd be Lovely. Fine. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Thank all right. Bye-bye now. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I do a lot of building projects. I like what it does to the value of my home and I like the work. But sometimes I get stumped about what the building code requires or whether I need a permit for a shed or a deck. It's nice to know the answers are just a phone call away. 704-432-RTEC. RTEC is the Residential Technical Answer Center, service of Mecklenburg County. I don't need all the answers. I just need the number, 704-432-RTEC. Just wanna breathe. Is that too much to ask? Hey, here you, Jeff. An eight hour shift is like smoking a whole pack. Yeah, it's hard enough singing in this, but secondhand smoke can also cause lung cancer and heart disease. And no amount of ventilation can remove all the toxic chemicals from the air. Secondhand smoke should not be a job requirement for anyone. Everyone deserves a safe and smoke free workplace. For more information on smoke free air or for a list of smoke free restaurants in Charlotte, log on to goforatmosphere.com. At the end of a quiet street near Uptown Charlotte, connected to Irwin Avenue Elementary School, there's a plain concrete block building. What goes on inside this building could change your life. It's Race Splash Planet featuring the Blue Comet, the Orbiter, the Vortex, and Saturation Station. Charlotte Magazine says it's the best place in town to have a birthday party, plus a fitness center for moms and dads. But mainly, it's full of wet, smiling kids. Way cool. Way cool. Are we on the same planet? Please. Thank you. Uh, again, I, I'm really sorry about Anne not being here. Oh, that's no problem, actually. But I did hear um, Brad mention that he was concerned that Anne's boyfriend was causing problems. Oh, that. Mm. No, that's just Brady. He's just concerned that the employees shouldn't He's just concerned. Uh, no. Hmm. Um, I know I just got here and I don't know anything about the situation, but I do have some experience with domestic violence. So if Brady thinks something might be going on, he has a right to be concerned. Domestic violence? No, no, I, I don't think it's anything like that. And besides, that's not really any of our business, is it? Well, I used to think so, but then I just started dating this guy and before I knew it, he was trying to control my life, so. You mean? Like, uh, hitting you? Oh, no, not at first. But he was a real Jekyll and Hyde type. One day he was very sweet, and then the next day he wanted me to account for every second of my day, and when I began to object, he got physical. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I feel kind of uncomfortable talking about this. <laughs> I completely understand. We don't know each other. We've just met, and here I am laying everything out on the table. But that's just me. To the point. No, no, I respect that. I, I just, I, I'm having trouble reconciling. I mean, you're, you're like a big TV star <laughs> being a victim of domestic violence. Well, you know, it can happen to anyone. But actually, you're right. The statistics do suggest that most often it happens to women with low education, low income, uh, oftentimes young women, minorities, African Americans, and women who speak little or no English. Wow, you seem to know a lot about it. Well, I've done quite a bit of research. I also volunteer with the Mecklenburg County Women's Commission in their domestic violence services. I'm particularly interested in how domestic violence affects children. 
Speaking of children, uh, Amy, Emma, I want you to meet someone. What's up? Yeah, boss man, what's up? Well, I want to introduce you to Jade Stone. She's going to be your onset tutor and acting coach. It is such a pleasure to meet you both. And goodness gracious, you are both so beautiful in person. Really? That showbiz talk, Emma, don't get sucked in. Oh my, and I can tell you are one very bright young lady. We don't need an acting coach. Uh, Amy, uh, remember we talked about this with Anne. Yeah, but she said it was just a formality. A formality. <laughs> <gasps> well, actually, you know, Dennis, the girls are right. I have seen some of the clips that Anne gave me of the show, and I just don't think there's anything I could do to improve upon what these young actors are doing already. What? However, there is someone in the cast that could really use my help. Really? Who? Mm. Well, now, if I'm going to tell you, we're going to have to promise on a pinky pledge to keep it a secret. I'm ready. Me too. Pinky secret it is. All right. OK, who is it? Jennifer. <gasps> I knew it! She's the worst! All right, oh, boop, 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 boop. now be kind to your fellow oh. actors. Right. Uh, right. So now this is the deal. We're gonna have to really work on this. That means on the set, doing our homework and doing other things so that everybody else thinks that I'm your acting coach and tutor, but we'll really know the reason why we're here. I love right? pinky secrets. <laughs> but we're gonna have to work at this. No fooling around. We're gonna have to get this stuff done. Just, just think of it as the whole acting experience. I like you, Jade. You're smart. I like you, too. Both of you. OK, let's go run lines with Jennifer. That's a great idea. Bye, darlings. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, you are great with kids. Oh, I love children. They are so important. I found out, actually, though, that children who witness domestic violence in the home oftentimes tend to be perpetrators of violence when they become adults, whether they're batterers or victims. Yeah, but I'm not sure you're on the right track with Anne. I mean, all we know is that she left work to do something with her boyfriend. Is that normal for Anne? No, she's usually totally dedicated to her work. In mm -hmm. fact, she's the most working person I know. <laughs> well, has she often missed appointments? No, never. Until today, that is. How long has she been seeing this boy? I don't know. Not long. Well, you know, I could be stepping way out of bounds here. But all I'm suggesting is that you do your own research so that in the event that Anne needs help, you'll be able to supply it for her. OK. You know, and if you go to www.charmec.org and click on the Women's Commission, there'll be all kinds of information on domestic violence and the services that can help. Wow. <laughs> uh, hey, how's about I introduce you to some of the other folks around here? Oh, great. Oh, yes, listen, I definitely need to meet Jennifer because I'm sure the children are going to spill the beans sooner or later, but I'm sure she'll be fine with the whole ruse once she understands. You haven't met Jennifer yet? No, not yet. Oh, we better do that first. Let's okay. go. All right, ready to run our lines? I know. Let's start with my line. But that's right in the middle of the scene. Don't you want to start where it begins? with my line. Listen, a professional actress can start anywhere in the scene. That's true, but a real professional would want to start with her cue, not her line. Right. And who might you be? Oh, uh, Jade, this is Jennifer. Jennifer, this is Jade. She's our tutor. And our acting coach. Oh, well, <laughs> finally. Maybe now we'll get some real acting around here. Tell me about it. And what is that supposed to mean? Didn't you have something for the girls to do while Jennifer and I had a chance to speak alone? Oh, not that I can think of. Wait a second. I want to know what Amy meant by that crack. Was that directed at moi? If the Manolo fits. Uh, you know, I know I saw some fresh hot cookies in the break room. Didn't I, Dennis? Cookies? Yes. Oh, right. Chocolate chip, I think. Hey, I'll race you guys. No, I'm going to watch the fight. Let's go get some cookies! <laughs> cookies! Jennifer, 
I just wanted a minute alone, just so that I could explain what was going- <laughs> No explanation needed, dear. I'm so glad Brady finally decided to follow my advice and do something about those bratty kids. <sighs> bratty kids? Oh, I'm so glad you see it as well. You have no idea the amount of pressure I'm under. I'm trying to carry the show, and I have to carry those child actors. I was a child actor. Well, I'm sure you were delightful in whatever little thing you did. Yes, well, it just was a television film, and um, I did win an Emmy. Oh, that's great. A real one? Yes. <laughs> well, how sweet. Has it tarnished yet? Jennifer, I see you've met Jade. Hi, Jade. I'm Anne. Anne, it's we a pleasure to meet you, yes. <laughs> oh, goodness, what happened to your arm? Oh, uh, it's, it's nothing, just uh, a little moving. Accident. I'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not fine. This woman is insulting my intelligence. She's telling stories about her big acting career. Does she really think she's fooling someone? <laughs> Jennifer, this is Jade Stone, the Emmy Award winning soap opera star, more than 25 years experience in television and movies. Oh, I knew she was a show off. <sighs> we are so pleased you agreed to help the kids, Jade. Oh, well, helping children is my passion. It's not easy learning your lines and also math and geography. Quick, what's the capital of Maine? Augusta. Wrong! <laughs> it was Portland. No, Jennifer, it is Augusta. Portland, I meant Oregon. Portland is the capital of Oregon. <laughs> Actually, that's Salem. Salem? She's a witch, Anne. <gasps> Better be careful with this one. I am so sorry. Jennifer's, you know. It's not a problem, I think I'm... Picking up what Jennifer's all about. And you know, I have some pretty tough skin from being in the industry all these years. Well, we really are glad you're here. I couldn't actually find any cookies. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, the girls are ready for you. Oh, that's my cue. I'm looking forward to getting some work done with them. Bye. Bye, see you. Bye-bye. How about that, Jade, huh? Yeah, she's impressive. And speaking of which, that sling looks pretty impressive. Are you okay? <sighs> Oh, it's, it's nothing. It's just an accident with my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? What happened? Did you have a wreck? No, nothing like that. Nothing. It's, it's fine. Um, anyway, what, what about that meeting with Brady? How did that go? Oh, don't ask. Although he was pretty jazzed up about Jade. Seems like he's been a fan from way back. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I knew your father was a soap junkie. By the way, he knows about your boyfriend. Dennis, that's my private life. But he asked me where you were. You know I have trouble handling direct questions. He's your father. Exactly. <sighs> well, the last time I had a boyfriend, Brady worked me so much the guy dumped me. So what's he like? <laughs> uh, your boyfriend, I mean. So what are you? My sister? Oh, come on. Is he, um, you know, is he a big tough guy? Well, if you must know, he is rugged. I kind of like my man on the burly side. Muscles? Dennis. Well, so sue me. I'm interested. Mm. Oh, that's him. I just left him. I wonder what he wants. Well, go ahead. Answer it. Hi. Yeah, I'm at the station. No, I gotta work. No, wait. Okay. I understand. Okay, I'll be there soon. Soon. Problem? I've got to go. I'll call you later. Uh, wait, but is everything okay? You've told us you want your county services to be convenient, so we created eGovernment. Now instead of standing in line, you can do your business with us online. Everything from paying your property taxes to checking the sanitation rating of a restaurant you want to try. You can sign up for classes or reserve a park facility, check a birth, death, or marriage record, then find out what your uncle was arrested for this time. Electronic government in Mecklenburg County. Just go to forcitizenhelp.com and click on e-services. In Mecklenburg County, you can reap the bounty of a park built just for you. g g, -g grace Forget supermarket parking lots, forget being hassled by the cops. g g, -g grace don't forget your helmet, don't forget your pads, cause playing in the bowl can take its toll. It's 10 feet deep, the banks are steep, the rails and ledges mighty sweet. G-g-g-gracer. 
wicked. You've told us you want to know more about county government, so the Public Service and Information Department makes it easy and available. Our information portal called forcitizenhelp.com is your window to the latest news from the county. While you're there, click on Notify Me to have news, board agendas, and other documents emailed directly to you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to... Plus, we bring you live board meetings and TV reports on the government channel and print pieces like the annual State of the County report. You want to know, we're here to help. Go to forcitizenhelp.com for more. Where are the girls? Potty break. Ah. Can I talk to you? Sure, what's up? I think you might be right, but I'm not sure. Right about what? Anne and her boyfriend. She had to leave again and her arms in a sling. I know, I saw. Well, what happened? Anne got a cell phone call, okay? I think he wanted her to do something, and at first she said no, but then I think he insisted. Did you ask her about it? The one she ran out too fast. Huh, well, when she comes back, just sit down and talk to her. Oh, I'm, I'm not good at that. Sitting or talking? <laughs> Look, I'm afraid if I say something stupid or insulting, then it'll hurt her, and Anne's my friend. Well, that's why you need to be able to sit down and talk to her about it. I, I could have this entire thing all wrong. But what if you don't? Well, then you need to be in a position to help her. But how? I, I need you to help me help her, please. <sighs> okay, but is it like this every day? Pretty much. Yeah, good. Okay, let's go. So, what am I doing here? Uh, we're having an intervention. Not another one. I already told you, I don't do drugs. I mean, I'm just moody sometimes. What about those Botox injections? Well, fine. If you want to split hairs... Jennifer, <laughs> this isn't about you. Since when? Will someone please tell me what's going on here? We need to talk with Anne about her boyfriend. Now, our lawyer's already said there's nothing we can do about her having a boyfriend. No, no, no. This isn't about a boyfriend. It's about making sure she's safe from domestic violence. And why are you involved? Did someone make you queen for the day? Careful, Jennifer. Jade is qualified. Something new around here. Well, Jade has some experience with this sort of thing. She's been helping me out. Helping you with what? Shh, here she comes. Now everybody just act natural. Natural? Hi, Anne. Thank you so much for Hello, coming down. Hello, people. What's going on? Hello, who? It's an intervention. Is anyone going to intervene? An intervention? For what? Uh, ah, please. Um, for you. We're concerned about you. Dennis thinks that your boyfriend is beating you up. Ooh, nice touch, Jennifer. Beating me up? What gave you that idea? Well, the sling, for one thing, and all those demanding phone calls. I have to say I've contributed to this, Anne. I have personal experience with domestic violence, and I was telling Dennis about some of the symptoms. And he took it, blew it all out of proportion, as usual. I, I, I'm sorry, Anne. I hope I didn't embarrass you. Listen, don't blame Dennis. It's that woman's fault. She started it. Then I should thank you, Jade. And you too, Dennis. What? You're both right. It just took me a while to see it. See what? My boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, should I say, was into power and control. He started out real sweet, then he got too demanding, tried mm -hmm. to intimidate me. Mm -hmm. And it had been so long since I had a boyfriend, I just accepted it for a while. Mm -hmm. Did he really hurt you? I, I mean, is that how you hurt your arm? <clears throat> Thankfully, no. I really did hurt it moving furniture. Oh, then Jade was wrong. He wasn't abusing you. Oh, he was. He just didn't get physical. Not yet, anyway. Domestic violence isn't always about hitting. There's a lot of different forms. Jane, I'm so thankful you were here to recognize those signs. Uh, well, I think the person that we really need to be proud of is Anne. That takes a tremendous amount of courage to stand up to something like that. Why? What Anne did was common sense. I mean, who would stay in a relationship like that? A lot of women have nowhere to turn, especially if the guy made them dependent financially. That's right, and oftentimes women fear for their lives or the lives of their children if they leave or make a stand. Yeah, in fact, Anne, you should be careful about retribution from your ex. Anne, whatever it takes to keep you safe, you just tell me. Well, thank you, Mr. Lewis. With um, all the support, I'm sure I'll be all right. And I also know I've got a new friend in you, Jade. Oh, Anne, I've always been your good friend, too. 
<laughs> hey, I think there's some cookies in the kitchen. Why don't we have a chocolate chip intervention? Yeah, oh, I could use a cookie myself. <laughs> oh, Brady, I'll join you. Oh, oh, Jennifer, Jennifer. We'll be right there. I hope that's not going to leave a stain on my jacket. <sighs> Jennifer, I think we've just gotten off on the wrong foot. We? I didn't spend my entire day sucking up to everyone. I was just trying to fit in, you know, be part of the team. Oh. Well, just remember who the team leader is. You'll be fine. And stay away from Brady. Capiche? Au contraire, mon chéri. <laughs> La 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 Mecklenburg and C. Hi, I'm Suzanne Stevens of the Mecklenburgers. Domestic violence is on the rise in Mecklenburg County, claiming 78 lives over the last five years. In 2005, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department responded to an average of 764 domestic disturbance calls a week. That was a 26% increase since 2001. Still, the National Institute of Justice estimates that 73% of domestic violence assaults go unreported. So the full extent of the problem is even greater than local statistics reveal. Domestic violence is more than physical assault. It's ongoing and pervasive attempts to exert power and control over a partner in an intimate relationship. Now this includes threats, intimidation, coercion, emotional or economic abuse, isolation, blaming, and violence. Most domestic violence victims are women, cutting across all ages and socioeconomic groups. However, the majority of domestic violence victims in Mecklenburg who report crimes and or seek legal or other assistance are African American, followed by white, then Hispanic Latino. The Mecklenburg County Women's Commission and United Family Services report that approximately 12% of their clients are from the Mecklenburg towns outside of Charlotte. The greatest concentration is generally within a five-mile ring of Charlotte's center city. Local services to prevent and address domestic violence include law enforcement, counseling, shelters, and more. However, a recent report sponsored by the Mecklenburg Board of County Commissioners reveals that these resources are not keeping up with this growing problem. For example, the Shelter for Battered Women has reached its 29-bed capacity. In fact, Mecklenburg County has less than one-fourth the number of emergency shelter beds for victims than most communities of similar size. Even Cabarrus and Union counties have more beds than does Mecklenburg. This report also calls for a more integrated, effective, and predictable community response to domestic violence based on having zero tolerance for domestic violence in Mecklenburg County. If you or someone you know needs help, or if you want more information about domestic violence and the services available, call the Mecklenburg County Women's Commission at 704-336-3210 or go to the Women's Commission page at www.charmec.org. Remember, there is no excuse for abuse. <laughs>